Well, there's a lot of benefits to using airbrush makeup, and that's why I use it, um, mainly because I suffered from a lot of acne and discoloration, scars, and nobody really wants to walk around with their face scars and marked up. And stuff happens, life happens for whatever reason, um, breakouts, you may have a birthmark, you may have discoloration from the sun over time. There's so many reasons, but it all led me to using airbrush makeup. And the reason why is it just gives a nice sheer coverage that you can build as light or as heavy without looking cakey, without dirty sponges and brushes. And I really wanted something that was easy to use as well because I'm a photographer and a makeup artist. So when I was doing shoots on people and I just found that using it on myself, which I do use airbrush makeup every day because I have acne discoloration and I want something that I can layer and just be out the door and it's done. So I found it great for those reasons. But back to the kit and what you get in the kit. So um, today I'm gonna show you, um, the first half of this video I'm just showing you how to set up your gun and the second half I'll have no makeup and I'm going to do a day look and this is the night look I finished with and I'll show you how to do that. One of the reasons why Tickle Pink airbrush makeup is so great, it's aloe infused. So it's organic, it's about 86% I believe, and then the remaining products are what you have to have in there to have a makeup line so it doesn't go bad, etc. So if you're someone who's really concerned with what you're putting on your skin and you like organic products, this is another reason why this airbrush system or company is so unique. Not only do they carry gorgeous skincare, they also have um, beautiful airbrush colors, very soft and light, but as you can see I was able to layer it. But I'll show you how I did all that. Now back to the kit. Also with your kit you get two samples of their skincare. You get the Face of the Day Hydrating Serum with Hydraulic Acid and you get Sweet Dream Serum with, I believe that's Arglene, I'm saying that wrong. Anyway, um, both of them are really great. I actually have tried out their skincare and a big fan of their serums. Um, beautiful stuff. So you get this cute kit once again. You get the airbrush compressor. Obviously you get the gun, the hose to, to get you up and running. And then I believe you get a choice of, um, you can choose your sample foundations. And that's what's so great about purchasing a kit. So you can get up and running in one shot. And um, I have the Chai Frappuccino and there was one other color I believe. So I think you get three colors. I have the light concealer and this is the trick to covering the dark spots and the discoloration. I put this on first once I do the skincare and then I mix my foundations. And that's what's another great thing about this line. If you don't see a color or you're weary of the color, get a light and dark and you can mix them to create your shade. So it's a little bit like art and painting. So it's kind of fun that way. Um, you don't have to be an artist or makeup professional to use this line. You just really want to solve your problem, which is beautiful skin. <laughs> so um, that's a little inspiration for you. So mixing colors is really great. The light concealer is super helpful. And you'll see in the video how I had lots of discoloration. I had really bad breakouts from the mask and um, I just kind of had to deal with it. That's life. And so it's all healing, but I've got black marks. My skin discolors quite easily. And so using the light concealer, at first it looks really light and you'll be like, oh my God. But you need that to counteract the dark pigment. And then um, I mix the Frappuccino and the Chai foundations. No, Frappuccino and, yeah, I did. And I think there was a latte that comes with this set. Um, so I mix them. No, I mix the Frappuccino and latte because those are for me more of a medium color. And then what I did was, here it is, the latte. They come in a set of three, they come with the kit. You can pick fair, medium, or dark, I believe. So you can check all that out on the website. I'll put a link down below. As well, that like the esthetician on call for 24 hours, she will answer any questions you have about the colors and she will do a complimentary skin match so you can text her a picture and she'll tell you which colors to, she recommends. So anyway, I mix those and then at the very end you'll see me going in with chai and I just pop underneath. And that's just something I do having done photos and video. Um, you don't have to use three colors. I do recommend mixing your colors. I think it's really 
great that you can perfect your own personal shade, but for me on camera, I do lighter underneath and around the mouth, as well as for the discoloration and the acne, it just gives it a little pop. The trick is blending, and you have three speeds on your compressor. So you basically turn the compressor on. Oh, you also get a plug. <laughs> Forgot to tell you, I took it off to show you how to set it up. So you get a plug and the plug or the adapter simply goes in the very, very bottom. And it's just a, like a, just like any adapter to any um, electronics. You push it in, make sure it's snug and that's it. You're ready to go. So now I'll show you the three modes. So you press the on button. Well, let me plug it in first. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I have an adapter right here on my makeup table. Ah, there we go. So you have three speeds and it automatically will always go to the highest speed. So you wanna be careful of that and then use the button to the right called mode and you can alter your speed and select your speed that way. So if you're really scared of airbrush or you're new to it, Leave it on the, the, on the uh, very first one. You can't go wrong, you can't make a mistake. And the rest of it is just basically how you use your lever. You're constantly pulling and pushing back and forth. At least that's how I do it. And that gives you that even coverage. So as you see, I'm just constantly going back and forth. And once you get the hang of that, it's super easy. And you basically use water on paper or paper towel to practice and then it becomes intuitive. And these speeds help you apply the makeup. I always do my eyes on the first one because you can't go wrong and it's super soft. You don't wanna do the fastest speed on your eyes because it's too much product and it can actually kind of hurt your eyes. And honestly, I think today I've mainly used the low mode and the medium mode. I cleaned out my gun by hitting the highest speed. And that's just because I wanted to, every, between every single color, you're gonna use the airbrush cleaner that comes with the kit and you just, just spray a, a couple drops to clean out your colors. And one little tip or trick, um, you can pull back the lever and get yourself some pointed Q-tips and clean inside if you wanna help speed up the process. Cause you always wanna keep your equipment super clean and your gun super clean so that you never have problems with spraying. You should always be getting an even spray and it should not be spraying unless you're pulling that lever. So the back and forth motion, small circles for foundation. As you can see, I'm further away. When you're doing your acne, you'll notice that I come in close like this and I cover with the light concealer. So I'm just a lot closer, but I'm always being conscious of my pressure and how much I'm doing. And if, like I said, if you're a newbie to airbrush and you're worried that you're gonna spray too much, practice with water on paper or always set your mode to the lowest mode. And it'll naturally, as you see, as soon as I turn it on, go to the highest. So you wanna just naturally get into the habit of switching your modes to where you wanna go. I put it on medium to do my foundation because it was a larger area to cover and I wanted to get through it faster. And as you saw, I, did, I mixed two foundations, which is very unique to the line, which I love. And then I went in with a third one. You don't have to do that. You can use one color. This is all about tailoring it to your skin, your skin type and your needs. And that's what's so great about airbrush in general and why I prefer airbrush makeup. I use it every day. Sometimes I'll mix in other products, but if you are using this just to cover your acne, it's great. Once again, I'm just gonna recap um, light concealer, mix your shade, or maybe you're a perfect match, use your shade and you're good to go. That could be your day look. Today I showed you how to do a day and a night look. So I'll list all the products I use down below. And what else can I tell you about this kit? It also came with an eye stencil. You can purchase stencils online. And I have a little clip I'm gonna be showing on Instagram. I may try and add it into this video of unboxing when I unboxed it and how it was all packaged up in case you needed that. Um, I also have a quick start guide that came with the kit and it'll explain to you what to do. Personally, I'm visual so I like having the videos and that's why I created the videos to help you get started because I know the benefits of using airbrush products. I know the drama and the trauma of having scars and marks on your face and just trying to cover it but doing it in a way that's easy and fast and you can go on with your life. So um, this is really great. It's got their information here. If you need to contact them, like I said, you can text them off their website. There's a phone number. Um, they have other videos. 
They've got some tips and tricks in here on how to use the airbrush, how to keep it clean. You always want to use your airbrush cleaner. Do not use regular makeup foundation through your gun. It will not work. It'll clog up your gun and that turns into a whole mess. And that leads me to my next very important point. Most of the companies who do airbrush makeup, and there's an amazing amount of companies out there, um, will help you with your guns, but they will charge you. So if this gets clogged up, um, you can send it in for fee. What's unique to Tickle Pink Airbrush Cosmetics, this airbrush makeup company, is that it's a lifetime guarantee. So if you have any problems with your gun, you can send it in and they will repair it and fix it for free. There's all kinds of little tips and tricks that you may not know, but don't get overwhelmed because it's so easy to learn and there's so many videos and they will help you, guide you. Like I said, if you're just like, I don't want to deal with this, you can mail it to them and they will clean your gun and send it back. So like you always want to keep this nozzle. I just unscrewed it. Um, your tip of the needle clean and sometimes if you find it clogging, you just pinch it. And it's removing product from the very tip. You put this back on, screw it on, and that's it. You're good to go. Spray water through it or spray airbrush cleaner. You can spray either of those through it and that's safe. Do not use regular makeup products through your airbrush gun. These are water-based products and depending on what kind of foundations, regular foundations you may have, um, they could be oil-based and that can wreck your gun. So you want to use the products that are for the kit just because um, if you're new to airbrush, you can really create a real mess if you don't understand the consistencies of the product. So as you go on, you'll get better and faster at what speeds you use. You may just keep it on low the whole time. It's a safeguard. You can't go wrong. Um, like I said, the highest speed I use for cleaning, foundations I do on medium. Um, yeah, that's all you need to know really to get started. So if you have questions, you can put them down below and I always answer them. And I will put all the information on the colors I used today, the kit that was sent to me, the information on that. And I have a 15% off code for this Black Friday. If you're interested in purchasing the kit and trying it out, you can purchase through the link down below and you can get started with airbrush. So I hope you enjoyed this little intro. Now let's get started with the actual makeup. And I'm, like I said, gonna cover, conceal can cover discoloration and acne with my light concealer then I'm going to do a day look, and then I'm going to take it into this night look. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please feel free to reach out if you have questions. I'm here to help. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications on my latest videos. And I um, thanks so much for joining me. Bye. again and I'm going to show you how to set up your Tickle Pink airbrush kit um, and I'll also tell you what's in the kit and, and I'll show you how I cover acne and discoloration. So I'm just going to start with a light concealer and this stuff is really great. Um, you have three speeds on your kit, low, medium, or high. I'm going to set it to either low or medium to do my foundation and concealer. Um, when you turn it on it automatically will go to high so you have to get in the habit of just putting it at the mode that you want and I'm going to um, first start with a moisturizer Tickle Pink sells a moisturizer and a skincare line that works with the airbrush makeup so that's really great so take a peek at that I'll put the links below um, so you can check out their products but uh, I was super excited to try this out so here we go. We're going to start with the light concealer 
And always give your, if you're new to airbrush, um, I'm just gonna assume for the purposes of this video, it's your first time setting up your kit and doing makeup. You wanna really shake your bottles well, cause you wanna make sure it's always um, mixed really well. So I'm just going in closer than I normally would to spray foundation to cover up the acne and discoloration marks. Um, just been breaking out because of the mask and that's life. So this is a great kind of uh, tutorial to show people who may have worse or similar problems and how you can cover up and why airbrush makeup is so great for that. I've been using airbrush makeup for seven years now and it's my preference of choice. I use it every day to cover you know, discoloration and any kind of acne and, and marks. So it's going to look like I'm spraying really, really light on my skin tone. But for the purposes of this video and for the video, it's just going to seem that way. So trust me, it works. And it may just be showing up a lot stronger than what I'm doing because on camera when I'm filming it, it doesn't look this light. So you want to keep going. Just cover any dark areas or dark spots and just kind of where you want some brightness and light. So you may not need to go this extreme, but um, like I said, for the purpose of this video, it's a great way to show you. So just trust me, hang in there, don't give up yet. I'll show you how I'll make my skin tone even. We're just doing the first stages, which is the concealer. And I like to go around the mouth, have a little discoloration around there. And um, trust me, my foundation will not look this light when you see it. A little bit underneath the eye as well. Okay, so it looks like a lot of concealer, like I said, but just hang in there. I'm going to show you. I'm going to mix my foundations, and that's really great with airbrush makeup. You can take different colors if you don't have your exact match and mix them. So I'm going to take two colors, Frappuccino and Mocha, and I'm going to create an even base tone. And then I'll go in later with chai, which is a lot lighter for my skin, but works really well to create a highlight underneath the eye around the mouth area. And um, this might be a great example for those of you who suffer with discoloration and are not sure what to do. You may not need to go as heavy as I'm going, or it may just appear that way. You may need to go heavier. It really is about tailoring it to your own personal preferences and issues. And that's what I love about airbrush makeup. Um, you can really tailor it and you can also get creative, but I'm I just use this right now um, For every day as well as I use it on clients when I was shooting clients and um, I loved it. So I'm going in with small circular motion and I'm as you can see I'm further away than when I did my concealer and I'm covering a wider area and I'm just working my way around the face and you'll soon see how that light concealer disappears and my skin looks even and healthy. Um, so just we're just gonna keep going. I slowed down this version of the video so you could really see um, the makeup and what products I was using. So this is a longer version. There is a shorter version, an Instagram version as well. So we're just gonna keep going, circular motions. Um, it really doesn't take that long to do a full face or to cover your acne or discoloration. It just may seem that way in the video because we're taking our time with this. I really wanted to show technique and show you which products I'm using so you can get a better understanding if you're new to airbrush. Um, and you're just working your way around. It uh, takes me about nine minutes or less to do a full face of airbrush makeup. So it's traditionally shorter than when I use powdered products and there's not as much of a mess. So I am really tailoring um, what I'm doing to my skin, my issues and what's been going on with me. And uh, I always keep a towel on my lap to wipe off any excess or to, I clean my gun. And that's really important for airbrush. You need to clean in between every color. It does not a lot of work. It comes with a mini airbrush cleaner. You can always replenish and you just spray through on your highest speed, preferably, and it just helps clean out your gun so you don't blend colors you don't want, because you'd hate to have like a black with a, a, a foundation, you just don't want that. So anyway, as you can see, as we're working and as I'm circling, my foundation is becoming more even. You're not seeing the concealer 
as I apply. I've mixed my own custom shade using Mocha and Frappuccino. I'm just going into the hairline. Um, Sorry, I look like such a mess, but this is reality. <laughs> this is what we all look like. So um, maybe you look better. Anyway, so I combed my bang there for you so I didn't look too crazy. Um, and then we're just going to keep on going. So that's our first basic layer, uh, moisturizer, concealer, and then a foundation. Like I said, you can mix it or you can find a shade that you can use right off the bat. I always love to use at least two shades just because I like to do light and dark and play with light and darkness on the face. That's my thing. Um, for you, if you're just a newbie and you want to do this every day, you can use one color. Just use the concealer if you have acne or any discoloration and play with it. You want to play with your gun and practice spraying with water so you don't waste product. You can spray on paper and just get a hang of that water pressure. I am constantly uh, moving my lever back and forth. So now you see I have the chai. This color is very fair for me, but I use it as a highlight and I pop it underneath the areas that need that brightness, especially if you're on camera, like underneath the eye, maybe around the mouth. Um, I'll put it over my chin where I have the most discoloration acne marks. And you'll see I just do kind of wide sweeping circles with this. Um, and we'll go in a little bit more. And I like to get down into the neck area just in case, just to make sure everything looks even. I always do a little bit on the lid, but a little later in the video, we will be using the whiteout, and I use it as an eye primer. One, because it picks up color, but two, it also helps have your eye makeup last a little longer. And airbrush makeup already lasts, so it's a great little bonus to just kind of do those little details to really pop your eye makeup. Even if you're just doing one color and it's natural, it'll sit all day. So we're gonna go in again. And I'm going to go in with the whiteout. And like I said, this is a great primer or eye base. And I just need, you only need like one to two drops um, to do both your eyes. It really, the product really lasts and goes a long way. And I've put the compressor on low. I always do eye work on the low mode. You cannot make a mistake this way. And as you can see, I'm just gently spraying very lightly. I'm just getting a nice even coverage, little circles and just kind of moving it around. And that will pick up the color really nicely. And I'm cleaning out my gun once again. I'm gonna go in with a um, light pink. I've listed all the colors down below on the video just to um, make it easy for you if you do like the colors or you're interested in checking them out online. And shake, shake, shake. Keep remembering to shake that airbrush makeup. It's really important. So I'm going in with magenta, which is um, a soft pink really in my eyes, but um, just two drops and just do a nice light on low mode. I like to pull my eye just a touch. I don't like to pull it too much because I don't want to wreck if I've already done my makeup, like if I've already added foundation. But for this video, we're going to be going in and touching up and doing different things just to give you a really good idea of how airbrush makeup works and the Tickle Pink makeup product. So I love this line because it's very soft and gives it a very romantic feel and it's very easy to wear for day to day. It's also 89% aloe infused, so it's organic makeup. The, the other remaining products are just ingredients that allow it to hold its staying power as makeup so it doesn't go bad. And um, as you can see, it gave me a nice light coverage. I don't look whitish. You can see the pink tint now. And for the purposes of this video, I've kind of darkened everything so that the makeup kind of pops because I am doing a natural look. And natural makeup on camera is always hard to capture. Um, a lot of what you see out there is heavy, heavy editing or heavy, heavy layers of makeup to look natural. So I hope this is a coming across. And feel free to leave um, any comments below if you have questions. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please like, share, and click that bell for notifications on my latest videos. Um, I create products and services to keep you shining inside and out. And 
then we're going to go in with some light bronzer. So if you're one of those people who just like a pop of color, um, I like to do it around the forehead, like the upper, the cheekbones, and just on the jawline. Um, you're basically imitating where the sun would hit, like sun-kissed. Um, right now, I feel like I'm still looking like a bit of a mess, but I'm going in and I'm just kind of evening it out. So you're really going to see it come together in a little bit. As you can see, that bronzer is really creating a little more definition. Okay, so now we're going to go in again. And the blush I used, or I will be using coming up, is Desert Rose. It's a bit darker, even for me, but it worked really well. Oh, this is my Diamond Glow, so I'm going to pop a highlighter on the top of the cheeks. And usually you put your highlighter last, but I just, I'm just having fun and changing it up. So I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, I'm just going to touch the top of the cheek. I don't like a heavy highlighter. And this makeup already has a glow to it. You can get the shadows in a matte or a shimmer. Um, but uh, So I don't like to look too shimmery. Just a little pop. And for day to day, it's kind of nice. So as you can see, I got a nice even foundation base and a little eye makeup compared to when I first started with all the concealer. So as you can see, I covered my discoloration, my acne marks. I'm now going in with the blackest black liner that Tickle Pink makes and it comes with a sealer and you want to mix it into a little paste and apply it. It comes in black and brown and this eyeliner works really well with the aloe infused airbrush makeup and you really have to think about what products you're using because some products just don't work together but this liner look, works really well and on top of that when I want to put a fake lash on um, it holds um, not as an adhesive but I don't have a problem with the eyeliner and the glue or the aloe airbrush makeup they all seem to work well together so as later on in the video I'll show you more of that but I'm going in and just doing a soft little line for a day look and it mixes really well. You just you can mix it directly right into the little uh, powder pot. And little, you may not know, but um, I actually uh, need glasses. So <laughs> I'm really happy and proud of myself that I was able to get these lines nice and perfect. I have a close-up mirror to the side there, and that helps me. Um, and I don't overthink it. I just step back and do it. You can airbrush your liner and do a smudged look or even a fine line. But for this video, I wanted to show you um, all their products and how these products work well together to give you a better idea of what the scope of airbrush makeup can allow you. Okay, so we've done a nice little eye. And this would just be a simple day look. I am going to add a lash to this day look because I do wear eyelashes every day. I just find for me it gives me a little bit of a pop because I have such dark hair. Um, okay, so as you see, I put the Desert Bronze blush on. I have my highlighter that you can see and I have my lashes on and that would be my day look. That's it. And you can see I covered my acne and discoloration with a couple steps. For the purposes of this video, I added a little more product. I went a little slower. And now I'm just going to use my mascara to seal my fake and real lashes so there isn't a split in the lash. And it comes across really clear and opens up the eye. And I can do just a touch on the bottom. I'm not doing any heavy liners on the bottom. For a day look, I like to look as natural as possible. Ah, the root touch-up. So Tickle Pink also carries a root touch-up. I have very dark hair and this worked on my hair. I've had gray hair since I was 17. I am not embarrassed. So um, they also have shades for blonde and brown. So no fear, you don't have to have black hair. Um, but this worked really well. And there's a little trick to applying your root touch up. If you are covering it right where your part is, you wanna take a comb or a stencil, which you can purchase on their site, and just kind of put it in the middle so you're not spraying your scalp, because when you do that, it looks fake. So you just wanna zigzag back and forth. You just wanna like cover up that gray and kind of extend it out where you can. And as you can see, it only took a couple seconds to do one side. So now I'm gonna wipe and switch sides. You always want to keep wiping and keeping all your equipment clean. It's so important and it also prevents a mess, especially if you're a newbie and you're just learning the tricks of the trade. So as you can see, it covered that up. It was really easy to use. 
it's just nice. It's a nice little um, easy in between while you're waiting for your color. Anybody can do this. Anybody can airbrush. It's really about um, wanting to do it. And it's all about solving your own personal needs and problems. So you can tailor everything to work for you. You just got to have a little patience. As you saw the setup and even doing covering acne discoloration isn't that difficult. You just have to have the right product and practice a little bit with technique. Once again, I'm wiping those stencils. I always keep a little towel on my lap just so I can keep everything nice and clean. And another great thing about the airbrush makeup, it's non-contact. So you're not using a lot of brushes if you have breakout issues. And if you're a makeup artist, not only is this line organic and you may have clients concerned about that, it might be something you wanna go into if you use traditional brushes because it's non-contact. Oh yes, I love the waterproof sealer. So on this day look, I'm gonna seal the look with this waterproof sealer. I'm just doing a nice light spray of wide circles and it just holds all the makeup all day. And I love it for that. A little bit on the forehead. My bangs usually kind of cover everything. But as you can see, just a nice little bronzed look with a light little pink eye. Yes, I love it. All right, so now I'm gonna take you into a night look. So I hope you enjoyed this day look and you got some good tips. I hope I look a lot better than in the beginning of the video because I was scared. So anyway, here we go. We are gonna take this into a night look by using a darker shade of organic infused airbrush makeup by Tickle Pink. It's called Maroon. And I'm gonna work in the corners and a little bit underneath the eye to create some definition. And this only took a couple seconds. I'm using a stencil, which you can purchase online. You can get them in different shapes. You can use all kinds of things. I've been using airbrush makeup for over seven years, so now I freehand, but I also use the stencils to create a nice line. With this, I smudged it out more and just let myself play. And it's a really easy way to do a night look. Um, I just wanted to make sure I didn't get it too far over. As you can see, I'm doing tiny circles, almost like a triangle, and then I'm going into the crease very gently. And I'm going to extend it a little bit more and I'm working both eyes to even them out at the same time. So that looks, there you go. And just soft, soft. Now for a newbie, I would recommend using the stencil, maybe not going as deep into the crease because it can easily turn into a hot mess if you don't know what you're doing. And then I'm going to do a little bit underneath to kind of define the eye a little bit without doing a heavy, heavy liner. Um, you can go even darker than this. There's so many things you can do with airbrush makeup. It's truly amazing. So I love it for that reason. So for someone else, this might be a day look. Um, you know, adding that definition. For someone else, this is a heavy night look. So I really try to keep it simple so that um, if you're new to airbrush makeup, and you don't wear a lot of makeup, period, you can see the real, like, what the scope of everything you can do with this. Okay, so I'm going to go in there and I'm going to seal that again. A little bit of water's proof sealant. Doesn't hurt. And I love it. So I just, add, I'm just going to do a light spray on the eyes just to hold that a little bit. And a little bit on the chin just because that's my problem area. Yes, I love that. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that day to night look and you got some good tips. If you have some questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And if you like this video, please give it a like and a share and click the bell for notifications on my latest videos. As you see, I'm going in and I'm gonna take this night look further by giving it a maroon uh, lip. And it's a soft maroon, this isn't deep. I'm using my stencil just kind of to shape around and I carry makeup products, especially lipsticks in my bag, but I like to do an initial airbrush and purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you everything you could do. And it's lightweight. Everything I put on is super lightweight. I can't feel it. And I'm just gonna go in and define more. I am a makeup enthusiast and that's just how it goes. We just keep adding on ourselves. And as you see, you spray. You're not tr I'm not creating these defined, difficult lines, so it's easy to do. And I um, wear glasses to see things up close. So if you wear glasses, you can do this too. The trick is just blur and blend and don't go too heavy. But as you see, I did a night look and I went heavier. For someone, this could be really heavy. And for other people, this could be just their day look. But you're just blending and going lightly, stepping back and looking at it from a distance and just kind of evening it out. And if you spray too heavy too fast, 
you'll get little wet spots and so you may just want to blow with some clear air but definitely keep your uh, eyes on low mode on the compressor it will just save you so much trouble if you're new to airbrush makeup and make things so easy for you I'm going in with a little foundation and just popping it in places to lighten and it's contrasting between the light and dark makeup so there we go guys I hope you enjoyed this video I love doing it it's organic airbrush makeup by tickle pink they're out of Oregon. Um, I have a little piece at the end of this video. They're based out of Oregon and they really care about their customers and their product and that's why they create an organic aloe infused airbrush line. It's unique. There's nothing like it on the market and they really care about skincare. The owner, Kathy, um, is, uh, has a background as an esthetician and her and her husband had met originally um, in the prison system as prison guards, I believe, or in some kind of capacity where they worked in there. And they built this line from scratch and they worked with the lab and they created the formulas and they put their heart and soul into it. They invested all their retirement in this and this is something they've been working on for a long time. It didn't happen overnight. And so um, if you like quality people who sell quality products, this might be a great way to go. And it's worth it to get to know and to check out their website and check out their products. So you may like them. Um, and if you're a professional, you may have clients who are really concerned about organic skincare and having organic products for weddings or for special events. So it may be worth it to have a few items in your kit, if not a whole line. And they have great prices that won't break your budget as an artist. They also offer an artist discount, I believe. You can look into that on the site. I'll list everything down below. But I really wanted to mention that and give you some history on the company because it's so important who you deal with as well. And right now we have so many strange things happening in the world. It's just really nice to meet nice people and to work with nice people. Um, so I'm a fan. Uh, I enjoy their skincare, enjoy their products. I like their their ideas behind it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And um, like I said, all the information is down below. You can drop me questions if you're interested or you can contact them. They have someone 24 hours where you, that you can text and you can even get um, send pictures of yourself if you're not sure what kind of colors. And um, yeah, what else can I tell you about them? So anyway, it's worth it. Um, I know they're running sales for Black Friday. Check them out. This video should be coming out early this week, so you have time to prep and plan and uh, check them out online and ask questions. But um, this system is great. Airbrush makeup in general is great because it's non-contact. And that's such a concern right now in the makeup industry, beauty industry, and for just individuals. So this may be something to open your eyes if you never thought about airbrush. Uh, it's non-contact, you're using a spray gun, there's no dirty brushes. Um, as a makeup artist, um, having to reinvest into new powdered products because of what's happening and still work is really challenging. So you may wanna think about going into bottles where you don't have to replace the product because it hasn't touched people with a brush. And so there's lots to think about and there's lots of positives to using airbrush makeup, whether you go with this line or another. And um, it's worth it to check it out. And once again, thank you for joining me. Like, share, and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. And I really enjoyed doing this video for you and I hope you enjoyed it as well. All right, take care guys. Stay safe.